What's up, everyone? Diego Pacheco here, uh, 21 years old, currently 16 and 0, 13 knockouts, super middleweight. Uh, my next fight is uh, December 3rd in Phoenix, Arizona, on the Estrada Chocolatito undercard. So everyone, stay tuned. It's gonna be a, a great fight. I'm gonna defend my WBC US title, and um, yeah, I'm going up against a great uh, Russian opponent who's undefeated as well, 13 and 0. And um, yeah, man, training camp has been going great, and we're ready to put on a great performance December 3rd. So, uh, what can you tell us about your opponent? Have you like seen any fights with him, or have you seen like you know have y'all met with each other in the amateurs, or like you know? What I mean? Uh, yeah, no, nothing like that. Um, oh, okay. I've, I've uh, checked him out. I looked him up. Uh, watched a few videos. Um, yeah. He's a solid opponent, you know, he's yeah. undefeated 13 and 0 for a reason. Right. Um, and, um, but, you know, of course, you know, he's a good fighter. I feel I'm a great fighter. So, right, um, right, right. We've been put, doing all the uh, training that's been necessary to, right. you know, to come out victorious out of this fight. Mm -hmm. And um, just looking forward to ending the year strong with another win. For sure. Uh, no question. Now, um, with the sparring and stuff that you've been getting, because you've been getting a lot of good work, what yeah. kind of things can you say that, like, like you benefited from the sparring you get from here like what kind of things that you you saw the improvement you're like oh shoot like this yeah. now comes naturally you yeah. know what i mean like well uh, I, th I think just honestly ever since i've been tra uh, training here with david and ryo and uh right. the entire benavidez family i feel uh i just overall I've been a lot sharper in everything that i do you know um, right. i've always been a great boxer right. i've always been tall i've always had long good punches right right but i feel like now it's just they're just getting a lot sharper. And, right. um, uh, you know, when I'm sparring these guys here, mm -hmm. I gotta be on my A game every time. I gotta stay sharp every single second of the sparring. So I feel it just helps me stay on my toes and, um, and you know, be ready every single second of the sparring. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, you said you're a lot sharper and things like that. Now, yeah. do you, is there like certain boxers that you look towards to like have, besides the ones here, obviously to have that kind of like, you know what I mean? That sharpness and things like that. Like, who are your some of your favorites? Who who do you consider like all time greats? Uh, you know, growing up, uh, I like to watch uh, Floyd Mayweather a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Homer No Marquez. Mm -hmm. Um, right now, one of my favorite fighters to watch is Devin Haney. Oh, I think okay. He's one of the, one of the best boxers. Um, one of the best IQs in the game. Um, right. Has a beautiful jab, beautiful right. defense. Right. So um, um, I really like him a lot. He's a great fighter. And right. um, I mean, there's there's honestly right now there's so many so many different great fighters in every weight class and um and i'm just happy to be in boxing at, at for this, sure. this day and age and i'm um, excited for the future more than anything for, for sure for sure now you say you're happy to be in boxing what initially got you started what initially kind of turned on that spark to like say okay this is something i want to go uh full throttle with uh, I feel like just at a young age, you know, um, I was very dominant in the amateurs. You know, right. I was, uh, I had a record of uh, like 80 wins and like six losses. Right. So, you know, I, I was winning back to back for a long time. And, mm -hmm. you know, everywhere I went, everyone told me that I had something in me, you know, that I was yeah, special. Definitely. Definitely. So um, I felt that's what drove me and, and kind of motivated me to uh, make the best out of out of the sport that I was in love with and for, keep for working sure, every day. For sure, for sure. So you said you have the WBC US title, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, seeing that you have that title, what do you think is the, and be it that you get past your next opponent, what do you think is the next logical step for you? Uh, is it to like get in the mix with the other 168 pounders or would it, that have titles or are, you know, are in contention for titles or what do you, what do you think? Yeah, well, you know, I, uh, I feel right now I'm, I'm still barely 21 years old. Right, right. You know, I'm not even in my full man strength yet. Of course. Um, just getting there. Mm -hmm. So there's obviously no rush. You know, just mm -hmm. keep learning, keep getting right. better. Right. Um, you know, this fight is a big step up fight. He's right. a great opponent. Right. And uh, I'm looking after this win to just pick up a few more of those little titles. Obviously, not a world title yet. Of course. Um, just keep working my way up the rankings, and uh, eventually uh, that title shot will come. And, yeah, uh, we'll, definitely. We'll be more than ready when it does come. Definitely, most yeah. definitely, most definitely. Now, besides this gym, um, have you ever uh, got any work around like different gyms, like, in Seattle? like either in Seattle or even outside? Like, well, those... in LA, yeah. Whenever I'm in LA, um, oh, okay. You know, I go to every gym in LA. They all, they wild all card? give me great work. Wild card, uh, Brick House, Brick House, uh, Church Hill, all, all the great gyms where they have all the great fighters. Um, 
they always give me great work. Um, and yeah, most definitely, you know, I feel here I've learned the most of, I'll be honest with you. Oh, really? Um, just being here with uh, David, who's a, a great fighter with a lot of experience, Rara Valenzuela, right. one of the best left-handers I feel in the game right, right. now. So, um, uh, yeah, just being here, my little brother's here as well. So, um, yeah, every day we're all just looking to help each other get better. It definitely. Now, one more question real quick, uh, or two more questions, actually. What is the difference between the like the style in you find in Los Angeles and what you have here? Like, What, what do you think is the main differences between those gyms? Um, well, honestly, for me, um, I'm from L.A., and yeah. I decided to come out here. Likewise. Oh, you're from L.A. as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I wanted to come out here because a lot of shit in L.A., you know. There's oh, man, many, it's crazy. It's crazy right now. LA. Like, L.A., well, for me, man, it's like a volcano, and it's about to erupt over, you yeah. know, like, just in every different part of L.A. Yeah. Like, I'm surprised, like, every day on my social media feed, there's something new, and it's in areas you wouldn't expect, yeah. you know. So yeah. I was like, even me, myself, I'm like, man, this is like, uh, this yeah. is like, weird to yeah, me even the know? good areas of yeah, LA it, are exactly <laughs> exactly like I mean yeah. Beverly Hills yeah. I think even last week I believe yeah. e it could have been earlier this week there was like a mass uh, stabbing in Target in downtown LA oh yeah, yeah. I did see random that. homeless the little, dude little just kids getting poked and everything, everything. Yeah, and yeah. so I'm just like shaking my head yeah, like saying crazy, to myself bro. Like, yo, what's yeah. going on? And but uh, I feel, you know, I came out here because I'm definitely a lot more focused out here, a lot more right. focused. You know, all I do is uh, train and, and go back to my apartment, eat, right. and come and train again. Right. Uh, you know, in LA, after the gym, there's so many different things to do. There's Get so many into. options. It's, so many girls, you know, so it's real easy to get to lose focus, get right. distracted. So, um, right. I, for me, that's the main thing out here. Most definitely. Sure. So, where can people like find you on social media and stuff? Yeah, um, on Instagram, you guys can follow me at Real Diego Pacheco. Okay. Uh, Twitter, Real D Pacheco. Mm -hmm. And um, you guys can watch my next fight December 3rd on The Zone. Uh, subscribe to the app and appreciate everyone's support. Definitely. Sir, so, man. man, yeah, man, every, all of my subscribers, man, you better tap into that fight. Yes, and uh, support him, get behind him, because, you know, from what I've seen in sparring, the dude is sharp, he's focused, he's ready to go. Yeah, I appreciate that, my guy. Hell yep. yeah. Oh, man. Yep. Thank you, bro. Yeah, no problem.